everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. We start off at Phoenix Raceway for the 2020 Arkham Menard Series West Championship weekend, where we find two of our Race Face Drivers, Joey East making his fourth start of the year, and Jesse Love, who was focused on one thing, the 2020 Arkham Menard Series West Championship. Let's take a look at Jesse, who qualified 13th, ran mid-pack for the entire race, making sure to stay out of trouble. You could say he was points racing, and it worked. Jesse became the youngest driver to win an ARCA championship at 15 years, 9 months, and 24 days. Think about what you were doing when you were 15. Let's take a look at that victory lap for the young California driver. Lap for Jesse Love. We talked about it in the Bonnie Rookie Spotlight earlier in the day. Yeah, Jesse, go ahead, burn it down, celebrate. Announced as the driver of this car on his 15th birthday. I think I got a slot car set on my 15th birthday. Jesse Love got a real stock car. And he put the pieces together with a championship. That's how you get it done. Congratulations, Jesse. Up next for Jesse, Power Eye Midgets with KKM this weekend at Arizona Speedway. As I said earlier, Joey East was at Phoenix Raceway for the ARCA race as well, making his fourth start of the year and was there to get some seat time for the upcoming 2021 season. Joey qualified 16th in his number 54 Nate Clower Motorsports entry. Let's get a race recap directly from the driver. Hey, this weekend we raced at Phoenix Raceway and it was my first time on that track and my first time on a mile track and I really enjoyed it. And we only had one hour of practice and qualifying and we finished 16th out of that out of 27 cars and there's a, a lot of fast people there so we were really happy with that and we started 16th in the race and I was kind of struggling in the first half just getting used to the line and on the bigger track but then at the halftime break we made a little adjustment and then we got I kind of changed my lineup a little bit and then we're trapped a lot down from the first half and we just kept getting close to the lucky dog and then we finally got it right at the end and we got a lot back with about five to go and then we were able to finish 12th place and we we're really happy with that my first time on the mile track and we had a really fast car thanks to mike nake and the entire team great job joey look for a big announcement coming later this month on what is in store for the 17 year old driver from madera california up next for joey srl southwest tour at las vegas bullring on november the 21st Jake Bowman was at Atlanta Motorsports Park for the INEX 2020 Road Course World Finals over the weekend. Jake qualified second. In his heat race, he was running first, but a mechanical issue ended his day. On Saturday, he started ninth in the A main and was running sixth before getting caught up in an incident and had to restart 14th, but drove through the field for a third place finish in the world finals. Up next for Jake, junior late models at Tucson Speedway for the turkey shoot on November 28th and 29th. Caden Honeycutt was at RPM Speedway in his Red Rocket Dirt Mod for the USRA Summit Southern Nationals that had 31 cars competing for the chance to bring home the money. Caden finished third in his heat race started seventh in the feature, and made an unbelievable pass for the win on the last corner of the last lap. Let's take a look at that last lap pass. West over Honeycutt, Smith, Davis, and Doss are your top five. White flag waves. On the frustrated one at the flag, your winner! Wow, 
wow, that boy can drive. Let's now hear from the driver. Night one is over, and that is a check. Winner tonight, I'm so proud of everybody, man. It was a great race, started seventh in the A-Main, and got up there, got a late race caution, uh, started third, and passed two cars, and I got out to, uh, to the lead about five hundredths of a second, five hundredths. That's so close, it's so freaking close, man. It's just awesome, man. We've had so much bad luck here at RPM, and man, I'm, I'm just very happy. Uh, thank you for everybody that helped me, uh, my dad, uh, Shane Turner, Coy, they uh, helped volunteer tonight, and I can't thank them enough for helping me. Um, also, Reality Roofing, Arc Aviation, uh, Sheila White, thank you so much for your support. Andy Mitchell, thank you. Um, man, we're going to come back tomorrow. We're going to wash it up. Everything's going to be uh, redone again. Tires are going to be done again, and we're going to get after it here tomorrow night. So let's go do it, man. Up next for Caden, Snowball Derby at Five Flags Speedway on December 2nd through the 6th. Gavin Graham was at Auburndale Speedway in his double zero legend car where he started P11 in the eight lap heat race, finished P6 after getting spun out passing for second. In the feature race, Gavin started six and brought home a second place finish in a race that went caution free. Up next for Gavin, pro truck testing this weekend at Five Flags Speedway. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver updates. And remember, if you have missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel from your favorite Race Face drivers. We just put some new items in there. And as always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham, thanks for watching.